Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how to set up Windows Firewall to restrict Internet access for certain applications, that is, how to block their inbound and outbound Internet traffic. Why would you need it? Blocking inbound traffic allows disabling unwanted software updates, annoying advertising or saving traffic. Blocking outbound traffic can prevent leaks of confidential information. Blocking is also good if you want to secure your child from watching unwanted content or spending too much time playing online games. We will have a look at how Firewall works in Windows 10, but this advice will also work for Windows 8 or 7. To begin with, you should start the Firewall Extended Interface. To do it, go to Control Panel, switch to Large Icons and click on Windows Firewall. In one of the previous videos I have already shown you how to open Control Panel. You will find the link in the description. In the Firewall window, click on Advanced Settings. The Firewall Extended Interface has a lot of settings. Make all changes very attentively and do exactly what this guide tells you. If you set certain things wrong, it will result in lots of problems in the work of your computer. In our channel you can find a detailed video on how to set up, enable or disable Windows 10 Firewall. You will find the link in the description. In the left navigation pane select Outbound rules. The system will show all rules created before and don't be surprised to see dozens of entries created by Windows. In the right pane click New rule. By default you are suggested to create a rule for a program, so confirm your choice by clicking Next. The next step is to show the path to the executable file of the program to block it. With the example of Opera Browser, we'll see how Internet connection can be blocked. You can either enter the path to the .exe file manually or use the Browse button. If you choose the second option, the system will automatically replace a part of the path by the environment variable. An important note. For a number of reasons, environment and variables may be determined incorrectly by the system. If you see that a blocking rule doesn't work properly, edit the rule by pasting the full path to the file into the input field. Another important note. In most cases, blocking the executable file of a program is enough to restrict its Internet access. However, this approach may not work with online games. For example, if you want to block access to Minecraft game servers, you should block the corresponding Java application executable file java.w.exe, as the game connects to the Internet via Java. Confirm the choice of file by clicking Next. At the next stage, confirm the choice Block the connection by clicking Next. Your next step is to choose when the rule should apply. By default, all elements are checked. They determine if the rule applies depending whether the computer is connected to a network which you define as public or private. An important note. If you choose private and uncheck public, it means that the program will have access to resources of the local, of the local network, but it will not have access to the Internet. Let's suppose you use a laptop at home in a network you define as private, at work in a domain network and at a cafe in a network you define as public. If you want the rule to apply at the cafe, at work and at home, select all the three options. If you want it to apply only in one of the three cases, select the corresponding options. If you have doubts, just leave all the blocking options enabled by default. Confirm the choice by clicking Next. The last step is to give this rule a name. Think about a name that makes sense so that you will be able to find it easily later. At this point, you can also describe this rule so you will be able to remember why you created it after some time. Windows creates a lot of firewall rules automatically and all of them have quite fancy names. To make your rule stand out, name it Blocking Opera Browser. Close the wizard by clicking Finish. No? Now there is a new item on the Outbound Rules list. You can double-click on it to add it. Uh, for example, you can specify the users for whom this rule will apply or not, or decide that only a certain protocol should be blocked – TCP and so on. Blocking will start as soon as you create the rule, so you don't have to log off or restart. Start Opera and go to the website google.com to make sure the connection is blocked. If you need to disable the blocking, you will have to return to Windows Firewall Advanced Settings, left-click on the rule to select it and then disable or delete it. Use the corresponding items in the right pane of the firewall to do it. 
Similarly, you can set up inbound rules. To do it, select the menu Inbound Rules and create a rule following the wizard directions. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!